hello and welcome back to my channel how are you all doing today i hope you are staying safe and i hope you are practicing so in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to alter a basic bodice for our kiddies and also how to cut a tube bodice okay we'll be learning how to sew crinoline and we'll be learning how to fix a back loop I'm sure by now we all know how to draft a basic bodice pattern for our kids. And if you don't, please, you have to check my previous video on that, okay? Okay, so here are the required measurements. Our chest is 24, waist 22, shoulder 11, half length is 13, and the length of this gown is 30. Okay, we have our upper lining, our doll face. The three no links. Okay, two so net lace fabric I'm going to use for the upper bodies okay, for the embellishment. As you can see on this pattern paper, I've drafted the basic bodies. So to alter the basic block for a tube top, I decided to come down by two inch from the neck from this neck depth okay i came down by two inch so and for the back from the chest line i came down by 1.5 i mark and then with my curve for the style i'm making has a strap and this strap will go all the way down to the to the back so to do that i'm going to use the neck line as a guide and also the shoulder the shoulder slants as a guide for me to draft the strap okay the strap line so you will now ask yourself how wide do i want this strap to 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 fit in in front here remember we're going to fold this this is on fold okay so how wide how wide do you want it to determine what you're going to measure like here now we we'll have 2.5 and for me, if you fold 2.5 into 2, it's going, to, it's going to give us 5. And if you open up 5, I think 5 is actually okay for me. That is the, how much I want to expose this child's body in front, okay? I'm going to use this as a guide now. So I'll come down here and I'll mark 2.5. Bring it down. This becomes my strap. For the front okay i bring down my 2.5 and also connect now remember i said that this gown also has a loop at the back so for the back pattern i'm going to measure 0 0.5 inch away from back strap so i'll measure i'll mark 0 0.5 here Okay, and I'll come down and mark one inch and I'll connect it. So at this point, you will now determine the the number of loops you want to create at the back. I want to create like three loops because my strap is going to pass through it and it's going to be big. So I have to create something that it can be able to pass through. So you might decide to just draft something you know something like this so something like this so this now becomes our loop we are done with the alterations okay we will now label it here is center front cf side front sf side back and center back okay you can see go ahead like i did here to write cut on fold cut two For the front pattern, I cut the lining and I also cut the doll face material and I've ironed them out with the uh, hair stay. Now, this is the main this is the main fabric and I've added allowances. I added half inch allowance all through 
at the hemming part and at the top and by the side I added 1.5 inches for the side allowance and this is the back piece I did the same thing I added half inch allowance on all the side on the hemming side and for the side I added 1.5 inch allowance this is the supporting material and this is the lining so here is our strap see the length I I cut out here is 60 inches okay remember I said that we're going to tie this strap from the front and tie it across the loop at the back I've also cut out my two nets to my desired length for the underlay material I'm cutting out a 360 degree flay for it so now we are starting with the upper bodies okay so here is it yeah here, here is our fabric and the supporting fabric remember I notched these places as a guide so I'm going to put the, the strap on it this is our strap I've ironed it so I'm going to place the strap on it then I'll place the second strap on this other side and pin so the next thing I'll do is to lay the lining on top of it and then I'm going to sew on 0.5 inch across it I'm done sewing it you see so next thing is to notch and then we'll trim out the the bulky parts after trimming then we can remove the paint okay so this is it this is what it looks like okay next we go to the back and for the back we're going to start creating our loop now I curated a loop gone ahead to measure five inch each measure half inch from here and mark so on that mark I'll place my loop like so twist it a little and place it this way I'll pin so this is our back loop I'll finally pin it down I'll place the lining on top of it and I'll sew on half inch from here and down here okay. I'll do same for this part and I'll show you and turn it over and then give it a good press okay that's it see what our look looks like okay here is it you need to lay the two flats and make sure they are equal next thing you place your crinoline on top of it and you sew you sew on 0 0.25 just tiny at the edge here or 0 0.5 i'll sew it down now and show you i'll finish sewing it to the end right now i'll go back to the very beginning this place and top stitch it how do i do that i open up the the two nets put it up like this and push up this part backward and sew on the tip okay so all the way down make sure you open it properly as you sew keep arranging it like so So now I've sold it to the end. Mm. Iron it down and then we'll continue. I finished pressing on it. You can see how relaxed it's looking now. Okay, go ahead now and sew on this part, the, just this edge of this crinoline. It helps to keep the crinoline more, more defined and wavy. I'll sew on it now. It's easy to sew it now that I've pressed on it, so just continue sewing it down.
Okay, so I've reached the end. How is it, guys? So I'll use my needle and thread and draw garters on it. Where is it? This is the inside of it. See how neat it is? Everything has been done inside. This is the front. So now I want to join the upper to the down part. I have finished gathering the net. I made it in two steps and then I've attached it with the underlay. So next is to match it up, is to join the upper bodies and the down parts. I have pinned it down, okay? And I'm going to join this separately. And then I will join the lining. Okay, we are still sewing it down. It's done now, I've joined it. And it's time to fix the zipper for the lower part of it. We're going to fix this small zip. Remember I said the upper body is going to carry a loop. Okay. So instead of this loop, zip extending up, we have a loop up. And then we have a little zip at the down part. Fixing my zipper now. Next, I flip it to the other side. I think we are finally done. I've joined the lining. I've attached the zipper. Okay, I will turn it over now and put it on the mannequin. And I will show you. Everything is neatly done. You can see the inside.